Hi, I'm Paul from Quantum Robotics. I'm here to show you our project, XP Handheld Controllers. Our project started around a year ago. We were looking for a controller with multiple joysticks, buttons, and toggle switches. It also needed to use an XP to transmit all the data. We looked around to see what was available, and with nothing on the market to buy, we ended up designing our own. Well, several prototypes later, we developed the Q4, and we took it one step further, also made the Q2. This version uses two RC gimbals instead of the four joystick gimbals on the Q4. Now, I think the best way to show you how these work is to show you some demo video. Now, just to show you an example of it working, we use one gimbal to do movement, one does turning and height, as well as body movement, as well as spinning the body. Now these dials, we have programmed them. This one does speed, slows the robot down, or increases the speed. You can increase the body height, or decrease it, and then how high your legs move from the robot. Here's the robotic arm working. This is the gripper arm opening and closing. And then the pod dial spins the unit. It's a little bit off balance, the base is a little light. But you can control both at the same time. The controller sends an output. This is the input. It's a representative of all the controls in the controller. <coughs> I split it up into four modules. You have one, two, three, four. That corresponds to the first gimbal, or I'm sorry, first joystick, second, third, and fourth. And then the pod dial, I tucked in one, two, three, and four as well. Kind of shows you. Now, the second one operates on the bottom, third is the bottom corner, and four is the top. Okay, you can control. And then in the middle over here, we have our push buttons, as well as toggle switches. So what I have here is the Q2 controller, and it uses the same uh, testing station to uh, test all the, uh, the outputs on the controller. But at the same time, I was going to show you the comparison size compared to the Q4. Uh, it's really close. The only difference is it's a little bit wider. It's the same height. Uh, it's to make room for the gimbals. Uh, they're a lot bigger than the joysticks in this controller. As with commands and movement, it's pretty much the same to the Q4. The only difference is you're missing two gimbals. All the functions are the same. LEDs light up just as the buttons are pressed and switches are toggled. Now, on this controller, I programmed uh, a difference in there where if you flip this first toggle switch, it actually disables every option on the controller except for the two gimbals. Now the reason for that is if you need something where you just need the two joysticks controlling something. Example is a UAV, maybe a quadcopter or a hexacopter or something like that. Or if you're just more comfortable using this type of control compared to the joysticks. Now you can easily turn that off and you go back to using all the controls as well as the gimbals.